if you come to the center of your mat and we'll just begin in a seated position with a quick warm up before we get going. So finding yourself in the center of your mat, just take a nice deep breath all the way in and then exhale. So as we breathe, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're just gonna take two more deep breaths. So breathing all the way in, drawing that breath deep down into the base of the stomach and then exhaling completely. One more deep breath all the way in again. Exhale. And then just slowly begin to roll your shoulders back and down. So just rotating those shoulder blades, sliding them down your spine, hunching them up into your ears. Maybe five or so times backwards. And then change direction and go five or so times forwards. When you've done five in both directions, come back to center. Inhale as you lift one arm up, reaching up tall. Exhale, reach all the way over to the opposite side. Inhale back to center, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach all the way over to the other side. We're just going to do three of these each side, moving with your own breath in your own time. The last one each way. And then inhale back to centre, exhale as you twist and look over the shoulder. Inhale back to centre, exhale to twist and look over the other shoulder. Inhale back to centre. So again, we're just going to do three of these each side, moving with your own breath in your own time. And then slowly come all the way back to centre. From here, we're gonna take our hands underneath our shoulders, knees underneath our hips in a kneeling position or tabletop position. I'm gonna take three cat cows. So you're going to inhale as you dip the tummy, squeeze the shoulder blades together, look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale as you round through the spine, pressing the ground away, sucking the navel up and back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. One more each way. Inhale to lift. Exhale to round. From here, take the hands slightly further forwards and come back into heart melting pose. So forehead to the floor or chin to the floor, yogi's choice. Think about stretching into the underarms, getting into the thoracic spine, so opening up your upper back, dropping that chest towards the floor. And just take a couple of deep breaths. Exhale completely. And then slowly come up onto your hands and knees, tuck the toes and press up into your down facing dog. So think about spreading the fingers, gripping them up with your hands in this position. And before you start to work through the legs, bend at the knees and point the tailbone high towards the sky. So you're pulling your chest or pushing your chest through your arms. Pull your shoulder blades apart so you have a nice broad upper back and your neck is nice and loose. And then you can start to extend through the legs, alternating from side to side, pendling out through the feet. Taking a few deep breaths. And then slowly walk the feet all the way in towards the hands, coming into your Uttanasana forward fold. So draw in the chest, soften your knees first, draw the chest over the thighs, turn the head towards the floor, opposite hand to opposite elbow. And just take that right dog variation, swinging from side to side. And just notice how your lower back feels, notice how your hips feel, notice how your hamstrings feel. Take a few deep breaths. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way up. Extend it to Dasana. Exhale, release the arms. Shake it all out and find yourself at the front of your mat. So I'll demonstrate for today's flow um, a quick um, 
run through of the flow from start to finish and then we'll all go through it together. For those of you that haven't done this flow before, um, it is a flow of uh, six or seven sequence, six or seven <laughs> poses um, it, and we're going to start with three breaths in the first round, two breaths in the second and then the single breaths for the final four rounds. So just take it easy, take it slow, you should have time to get to grips with the movements um, and I'll do the demo before so that you can see exactly what you're doing before you kind of are heads down on the mat. So we're all going to start in Tadasana and you can stand in Tadasana and watch this if you like. So feet are going to be hip distance apart, you're then going to inhale as you come all the way up into extended Tadasana. As we exhale we fold forwards into our Uttanasana forward fold. Hands are going to go on top of the feet and we're going to slide up into a halfway lift. So hands slide up the shins, send the hips back, straighten the legs, find that nice flat back tabletop position. Exhale to melt lower, plant the hands on the floor and then on the next inhale, left foot is going to step back, coming into a high lunge and then as you exhale, right foot can step back. You can drop that down to a low lunge if you want to for the first two rounds. Finding your down facing dog. From here you're going to take a chaturanga, so we're going to inhale as we roll forwards to high plank or a vinyasa, exhale low plank or knees chest chin, inhale to press up to cobra and then exhale as you tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. So we're going to go back to the front of the mat now the same way we went down, so left foot steps forwards high or low lunge, step through to your uttanasana, forward fold, then we're back to that halfway lift. Exhale to fold deeper and then inhale to come all the way up, extended to Jasna. Exhale, reset. And that is one round of six that we are going to do. So just take it nice and slow. For those of you that have done this round before or this sequence before, just focus on your alignment. Really put some effort into making sure those shoulders are rolled back and down, your knees aren't over your ankles. And I'll try and cue you all the way through as well. So finding yourself into Jasna at the front of the mat. Lift the toes, spread them, press the feet firmly in the ground. Roll the shoulders back and down. Think about tucking the tailbone under, sucking the navel back and in, and lengthening through the crown of your head. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then when you're ready, inhale. Lift the hands all the way up, extended to Zasna. From here, we're going to soften the knees, exhale as we hinge at the hips and come all the way down into our Uttanasana forward fold. So as this is the second one that we've done today, we can take that ragdoll variation as we're here for three deep breaths, taking opposite hand to opposite elbow. Just really focus on drawing that chest over the thighs, crowning the head towards the floor. So you have that extension out of the lower back before you kind of hunch forwards. Take one more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, out, oh sorry, on top of your feet, and then when you're ready, we're going to slide up into that flat back tabletop position. So sliding the hands up the shins, straightening the legs, sending the hips back, rolling the shoulders back and down as if you're tucking them into your back jeans pockets and finding that nice neutral spine. So eye gaze should be just in front of the mat. Try and find that nice neutral flat neck, flatten everything as much as you can. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Brace that core, hold, and as you exhale, melt forwards back into your Uttanasana forward fold. From here, left foot is going to go back into your low lunge. So we're going to step back, drop the knee to the floor, and with that right foot, just check that your ankle is above the, uh, sorry, your knee is above the ankle, not in front. It can go behind. Roll the shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms. You should feel a nice stretch in that left hip flexor. Take another two deep breaths all the way in. Sink deeper into the hips. One last deep breath all the way in again. And as we exhale, we're going to step back to our down facing dog. So again, think about that alignment. Spread the fingers, press the chest through the arms, tailbone high to the sky. And then if you want to walk that dog, you can. Try and make sure that your neck's not hunched up into your ears or your shoulders aren't hunched into your ears. Try and pull the shoulder blades apart so that you release the neck and let the head hang towards the floor. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And as you inhale again, roll forwards into that high plank. Option to drop the knees if you want to. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. 
and then inhale as you press up to cobra. Option to take sphinx here if it's too much on your lower back. In either case, point the toes, squeeze the glutes, point as uh, squeeze the inner thighs, and then roll those shoulders back and down. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Again, tailbone high towards the sky, so find that alignment, find that stretch in the spine, and then you can either pedal out through the feet or pulse the chest through the arms towards the knees if you want to get more of an upper back stretch. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, push those heels towards the floor. And as you inhale, left foot steps through, back to the front of the mat, help it there if you need to. Drop the back knee to the floor. And again, just check that knee is stacked above the ankle or behind, not in front. Roll the shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms, eye gaze forwards. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. One more deep breath all the way in again. And as you exhale, step through to your Uttanasana, forward fold. So again, you're here for three deep breaths. Draw the chest over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor. Think about finding that length in the spine, tailbone high. And if you want to take that ragdoll variation, you can, or just let your hands hang, whatever works for you. One more deep breath all the way in. Exhale, for deeper. And as you inhale, come all the way up, extended. Tadasana, reaching up tall. Find a nice, sorry, exhale, release your arms. Hey, Kiki. From here, we're gonna come back to round two, so that's round one. We're gonna go back into round two with two breaths per pose. So from here, finding yourself in Tadasana, reset, inhale, lift your hands all the way up, extended Tadasana. Exhale as you fold all the way back down into your Uttanasana, forward fold. Hands on top of feet, we're gonna come up into that halfway lift. So just take one more deep breath, stretch the tummy over the thighs, crown of the head towards the floor for that last breath in Uttanasana forward fold. And then inhale as you slide the hands up the chin, sending the hips back, rolling those shoulders back and down, tucking them into your back jeans pockets. Find that nice flat back tabletop position. And then exhale, melt the body forwards, plant the hands on the floor. This time, right foot steps back for a low lunge. So stepping that right foot all the way to the back of the mat as you inhale, dropping the knee to the floor, rolling those shoulders back and down, and exhale, sink into your hips. Just check that knee stack again above the ankle. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, step back to your down facing dog. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And as you inhale again, roll forwards to high plank. Option to drop the knees, remember, if you need to. Exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. And then inhale as you press up to cobra or sphinx. Squeeze the glutes, point the toes. Release the hips towards the floor. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Again, inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, push the heels towards the floor. And as you inhale again, you're going to step right foot through into that low lunge. Dropping the back knee to the floor, rolling the shoulders back and down, chest comes through the arms. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, step through to your Uttanasana forward fold. Find yourself here for two deep breaths and then we're back to that halfway lift. I forgot it on the way up last time. So when you're ready, take the hands on top of the shins. Inhale as you lift, finding that flat back tabletop position. Brace that core, exhale to melt back down. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended Tadasana. Exhale, release the arms, shake it all out and reset. So the next four rounds we're gonna do one breath per pose. If you get lost, don't worry, just move and breathe. Take it easy, go as far as you feel capable, and if you just have to skip a movement, that's absolutely fine. So resetting into Dasana. Inhale as you lift the hands all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, swan dive all the way back down for your Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant hands and then option here to take a high lunge as you inhale, left foot goes back, 
high or low lunge. Exhale, right foot goes back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to your down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, right foot comes through, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, lift all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, as we go all the way back down for round four, one breath per pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands, right foot steps back as we inhale into a high lunge. Exhale, left foot steps back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra or sphinx. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps through, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot steps through, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Inhale, lift all the way up, extended to Dasana. Exhale, you're halfway on these single breath rounds. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands, this time left foot goes back, high or low lunge as you inhale. Exhale, right foot goes back to down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, left foot comes through, high or low lunge. Exhale, right foot comes through, Uttanasana, forward forward. Inhale, lift all the way up, extended to Asana. Exhale, as we swan dive back down into your fourth and final round of the single breaths. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. Plant the hands. Inhale, right foot steps back, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot steps back, down facing dog. Inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra or sphinx. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps through, high or low lunge. Exhale, left foot steps through, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold deeper. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale, release the arms, shake it all out, and you should be feeling pretty warm. So that is um, a regular kind of sun salutation flow. Um, we're going to step it up a notch again next week and add in. So that's Suri Namaskar A. Next week we're going to do Suri Namaskar B alongside of that. So I'm going to teach you that as well, and that will include a few more warriors and chair poses as well. Um, so for those of you, I just thought we've got a little bit of time, I can teach you um, that transition to lunge from down facing dog in case you're um, struggling with that kind of shuffle and getting stuck. Um, and then we'll go down into a cool down. So I'll just quickly show you, I'll demonstrate how to shuffle that foot through because a lot of people get stuck there. So you might have found when you come down into your down facing dog position and you're coming back to the front of the mat, a lot of people bring their foot through and they have to kind of help it through or it gets stuck there. What I want you to think about doing in next week's classes, and you can have a go now if you want to, is about inhaling as you roll forward, press the ground away and find that planching plank, almost hollow out your chest so that you have space to step the foot through rather than bring the knee through at a low level. So you're inhaling and lifting so that you have space and then you can go back. So if you wanted to have a go, if everybody comes to the back of the mat, tucks their toes and presses up into down facing dog, we can just do one lunge each side. So think about inhaling, roll forwards into that lunging plank, stepping the foot through and then sinking back into that low lunge. Take a nice deep breath in and then as you exhale, step back to your down facing dog and we can do the same on the other side. So inhale, lift 
and then step the other foot through, whichever one you haven't done yet, and then settle back down into that lunge, whichever variation you prefer. Exhale, step back. So, oh, I'm losing my earpiece. <laughs> so from here, we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forward to high plank. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale to press up to cobra. And then exhale, push back to extended child's pose. We'll just do one more go through of that down facing dog to low lunge and then stepping back and alternating sides just so you get the feel for it. For those of you that are there, really think about planching over exaggerating. It's a really good strength builder, so it won't do you any harm to practice. From here, inhale, come up onto your hands and knees, tuck the toes, find your down facing dog position. Think about finding that nice long spine. And then when you're ready, you're going to inhale as you lift, lunge, step the left or right foot through, whichever you prefer, and then find yourself in that lunge position. Exhale, step back. When you're ready, we'll do the other side. So inhale, lift, lunge, step that other foot through, finding yourself in that low lunge position. And then when you're ready, exhale, step back. And we'll take one more vinyasa. Inhale to roll forwards. Exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin. Inhale to press up to cobra. And then exhale as you push back to your down facing dog. Oh, sorry, your extended child's pose. So just take a few deep breaths, calm the breath down. You can feel that that transition is a little bit, takes a little bit more effort than you might think, but eventually it will click, it will just become an easy transition and you'll do it automatically. It's just building the strength there. One more deep breath all the way in. And as you exhale, walk the hands all the way over to the left side of the body, we'll begin our cool down. Feel that stretch in the right side. Take another deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then as you inhale, walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat. And then all the way over to the right as you exhale. Feel the stretch in the left side body. Take another deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat. And then we're going to come up onto our hands and knees, swivel ourselves around, and we're going to find ourselves in a seated forward fold. So taking the legs straight out in front of you, flex the toes back towards you, pull the fleshy bits of your bum out from underneath your sit bones. And then whenever you're ready, inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale as you reach and fold again. Think of about taking your chest over your thighs, nose towards toes, and then just letting your head hang. Take five deep breaths. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly inhale as you come all the way back up to centre. From here, slide your bum down towards your heels. Come onto your back, bring your knees in towards your chest and just take a gentle rock from side to side. Massage that lower back into the ground. Enjoy that gentle sensation. And then when you're ready, Take the arms out wide into a T-shaped position, palms facing down, think about gluing those shoulders to the floor. Then taking the toes to the floor, but keeping the heels lifted, just drop the knees from side to side, releasing off the lower back, taking a few window wipers if you like. Unraveling the spine, massaging the hips, the glutes. Also probably getting into your chest and your shoulders as well. One more each way. And then just gently bring your knees all the way back to centre. Hug them in tight. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. 
and then slowly, whenever you're ready, inhale as you come all the way up to seated, finding yourself back in the centre of your mat for the final time. Take a nice deep breath all the way in as you lift the hands up above the head, palms together at the top, and as you exhale, bringing the hands to the forehead, kind thoughts to the lips, kind words to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.